mine, dude. You, right. you know, like a, you know, with you know, like a commercial, the Gillette, they're all your beard is weird, right? Oh, that's well, your beard's not weird, but it reminds me of mine because it's like you have these little white stuff. And then, September fifth in the drive to California. Larry, Mike, and Miles met out in the arena with ten of the drivers and put the hammer down. Well, you know, uh, Mike did for about a minute thirty, and then Larry delivered the triple hit that left him for a D. Damn! Larry hit him square on the front passenger tire and blew out his stripes. That is what I'm talking about. Brothers in the pits, adversaries in the arena. Yeah! Larry wound up with third when it was all said and done. All said and done. Uh, Mike told me the pole hole is going to be an easy fix and he's going to get it going real soon. Sure can. Oh, so right out, man. So who won? Uh, well, for the minis, it was a little girl, Lindsey Crumb. It was her first derby, and you know, quite frankly, she actually ran better than some of the vet turns out. There. Wow, awesome! Nice work, Lindsay! So here is the rest of the MacArthur results. Congratulations to you all! It's a great show. I mean that. Yeah, 46 full size and 13 minis. Are you freaking kidding me? What a freaking turnout! F and A amazing show! Bernie Lyons, Terry, keep up the good work. Yeah. Hey y'all. So you think we should uh, show some highlights? Do we do that? I think we can. Okay, let's see it! You can watch the whole event right here on BBI TV. Well, all except for uh, Heat 3. That one did get recorded or was lost or something. Aye. So what's next? All right, let's see who we have for the NDDR, shall we? We shall. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm Mike. And I'm Doug. And this is the NDDR. This month, we recognize Seth Misser from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Most who know Seth know him as Crazy Cooter. Crazy Cooter. All right, Seth's first derby was in 2001, and he drove an 85 Caprice wagon, which he said he was a little disappointed with. That old 305 just didn't have the power he was expecting. No surprise there. I had a similar experience back in January. He did, but that was badass too. Not too bad. So regardless of the car's flaws, he made it to the feature and wound up with second out of 17 cars. Nice job. Nowadays he participates in as many derbies as he can, which is usually around 5 to 8, but sometimes more. He participates in both V8s and the minis. His favorite cars to derby are any 72 to 76 Caddy, and his favorite small cars are Pintos and 78 Mercury Zephyrs. That's right, in 78 the Mercury Zephyrs were released and made available with four, six, and eight cylinders. 
So I guess if your derby doesn't have a wheelbase restriction, you could run a Zephyr in the four, the six, and the eight cylinder class. I guess you could. I mean, if you have one of each, sure. Why not? Seth's next derby will be September 25th in Kimball, Nebraska. He'll be driving a 74 Caddy and a 78 Zephyr. Nice. Seth's wife, Linda, helps strip and paint his cars. He also gets some help from his cousin, Adam. Adam and Seth both run derbies together with the help of Jeff Paxson and the Winklers, Nick, James, and Bob. And they call themselves the Buckeye Boys. I like that name. Very cool. When Seth is not involved in derby-related activities, he enjoys playing baseball and spending time with his family. Good job. Now, his advice for the rookies is to make sure you double-check the wiring and all the small stuff because that stuff's going to bite you in the end and push you out. He also said that if he catches you sandbagging, you're his main goal. Look out, sandbaggers. So that's why Owen's very own Seth Miss. Back to you guys. Build that derby car. Thanks, Mike! Doug! Nice piece. Right on, Seth. Hey, thanks for representing. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna call this Buy That Derby Car. I love it, man! What do we do? Okay, well, after each NDVR is featured, we're going to show some Craigslist postings from the area of potential derby cars for 500 bucks or less. Sounds good, so let's do it! Bring up the Wyoming Craigslist, Cheyenne, surrounding areas, price from $100 to $500. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right, so it looks like we got a 68 Skylark for 375 in the Big Horn Basin. But I see it looks rough, but it looks like most of the stripping has already been done. Right, you know, the Buick engine is at bay, but it doesn't look like it's gonna run. Yep, they're asking 375, but I'd say 300 if they threw on that four bolt main. Nice. Okay, next. All right, here is a good man. Okay, 89 Ford Temple in Laramie. Nice. I think that's what Pat won with last year. It totally is. All right, hey, this car is a runner. They were asking 500 bucks, but recently lowered to four. Well, I think that's a pretty fair price, but I wouldn't take it home for any more than 350. 350. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. <Sounds> good. <laughs> All right, check this one out. It's a 1954, right there in your own town, Sethers. Uh, 500 bucks, and it's yours. Yeah, dude, you gotta get that. Yeah. Man. You know, hey, what? Tell them for people. <laughs> yes, right. Next. Okay, here we go. This one is uh, it's all ready to go if you want to run the four cylinder class. The 1993 Cavalier. They say a strong runner and there are no strangers to building derby cars. So they say. So they say. Bam. All right, they're asking 400 bucks and I say it's well worth it. Yes, but if it's built right, it runs like it does and only needs a battery for 400 bucks, buy it. Yeah, and man, you know, actually there's a bunch of stuff here but we don't really have time to go through them all. Very true, but in fact, we need to get going. That is a fact. Oh wait, hold on, it's not. Actually, uh, but first, uh, let's check out what the reporter had to say about derby drivers on CBS. Yeah. This was actually posted on We Crash. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the footage anymore. What? No. So, uh, CBS pulled it, said it can't even find me in the archive. So, uh, mm, that is strange. Yeah, okay, well, the footage was of a derby somewhere in Texas, and the last thing the anchor said was, I guess all you need to be a derby driver is an old jalopy and some 50 bucks. Uh, you know, something like that. Yeah. Uh, there you go. What a dumb box kind of deal. Can I say box? You just did. Right, well, Mike replied to that post on Lee Crash, and I think he said it best by stating, it ain't just 50 bucks in the jalopy. It takes ingenuity, mechanical ability, time, know-how, and a hell of a lot more than 50 bucks to build a good derby car. That's right, hey, well said. So, one last thing before we get out of here. Yeah, we want to say to our viewers, Thank you for your support, kind words. You are effing awesome! Definitely! Oh. All right, thanks. And if you guys have an idea for the show or something you want us to cover, just let us know. Maybe we'll give it a shot. Yeah, you know what? We got to go. Well, let's go. Okay, so until next time, build that derby car! Is that going to be good enough for you? Sure. How many times? Well, like the 18th take? This is retarded. This guy might get paid for this crime. Fucking perfection. That's what you want. Like to that song.